Ever wondered how to take your digital business to the next level? It's a question that haunts many entrepreneurs in the dead of the night. The answer lies in mastering the art of scaling. Now you might be thinking, isn't scaling just another word for growth? Well, not quite. You see, growth and scaling, while related, are fundamentally different. Growth often means adding resources at the same rate that you're adding revenue. But scaling? That's about increasing revenue without significantly increasing your resources. It's about efficiency. Scaling, effectively, is the art of doing more with less. It's about enhancing your existing services or products for your current customers, what we call vertical scaling. It's also about branching into new markets using your existing brand strength or horizontal scaling. So if you're ready to transform your business, stick around as we delve into the art of scaling. Trust me, you won't regret it. First off, let's talk about vertical scaling. This strategy is all about enhancing your existing services or products for your current customers. Think of it as deepening your roots in the market you're already in. Instead of spreading out and seeking new territories, you're focusing on building up and fortifying your existing stronghold. So how do you do that? Well, it could be as simple as introducing new features or services that complement what you already offer. Maybe you run a digital design agency and decide to start offering content creation services or perhaps you run an e-commerce store and decide to introduce next day delivery. The key is to provide more value to your existing customers, making them more loyal to your brand and potentially increasing their spending. It's an efficient way to scale because it leverages your existing customer base and brand reputation. Remember, it's not always about finding new customers. Sometimes it's about offering more to the ones you already have. Next up is horizontal scaling. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is that? Well, think of horizontal scaling like exploring uncharted territories, but instead of a map, you're using your brand strength as your compass. It's all about broadening your horizons, branching out into new markets while leveraging your existing brand. Here's a simple way to think about it. Imagine you're a successful coffee shop owner and your brand is recognized and loved in your hometown. Now you want to take the next step. You decide to open a bakery under the same brand. That's horizontal scaling. You're diversifying your business while capitalizing on the brand's existing reputation and recognition. Horizontal scaling can be a powerful move. It allows you to reach new customers and markets without starting from scratch. Remember, your brand is your strength. It's your secret weapon. By leveraging your existing brand, you can venture into new markets with less risk. Our third strategy is leveraging new technologies. In this digital age, technology is not just an option, but a necessity for businesses aiming to scale efficiently. Advanced technologies can enhance your business's accessibility and streamline operations like never before. For instance, imagine using augmented reality to provide immersive product demonstrations or employing artificial intelligence to personalize customer interactions. These technologies can help you stand out in a sea of competitors, providing a unique experience that customers will remember. Moreover, technology can help automate repetitive tasks, freeing up your team's time to focus on more critical aspects of the business. Think about how chatbots can handle basic customer inquiries or how machine learning can analyze data to provide valuable insights. In essence, technology is an ally a tool that can help you achieve your scaling goals more swiftly and effectively. Embrace technology and watch your business reach heights you never imagined. Now, let's discuss the limitations of human resources in scaling. While your team is undeniably a crucial asset, it's essential to understand that scaling your digital business doesn't just mean adding more people to the roster. In fact, there are clear limitations to scaling through manpower alone. For starters, it's not always financially feasible or even efficient. As your business expands, you'll quickly realize that throwing more people at a problem isn't a guaranteed solution. Instead, consider alternatives like template creation. By standardizing processes, you can maximize efficiency and reduce the need for additional manpower. Affiliate marketing is another viable strategy. By leveraging the reach of affiliates, you can expand your digital presence without expanding your team. In essence, the goal is to increase productivity without necessarily increasing your headcount. Remember, 
scaling is about working smarter, not harder. So, look beyond the traditional confines of manpower. Scaling doesn't always mean hiring more people. Sometimes it means making your existing resources work smarter. Well, we've covered a lot today. We've navigated through the labyrinth of scaling a digital business, distinguishing between growth and scaling, and understanding the importance of efficiency over sheer resource accumulation. We've explored vertical scaling, the art of enhancing your current offerings to please your existing customers, and horizontal scaling, the strategy of venturing into new markets, leveraging your established brand strength. We've delved into the realm of new technologies, highlighting their potential to revolutionize accessibility and efficiency in your business. And we've recognized the limitations of scaling through manpower alone, suggesting alternatives like template creation or affiliate marketing. But remember, these are not just strategies. They're stepping stones on your journey to scale your digital business. They're the building blocks for your future success. Remember, the journey to scaling is a strategic one. Plan wisely, implement effectively, and watch your digital business thrive.